Hey, what's up there guys? Ben here with another new video for you guys today. Are you guys tired of your normal Android stock lock screens? You can't do enough with it, like put widgets on it or put some custom app shortcuts and everything like that without rooting? Uh, well, this app is going to show you how. It's uh, called Widget Locker. It's going to allow you to do all of those things and a lot more. Anyways guys, let's get into the video right now. Alright guys, so here we are back in the video. Uh, so all you have to do to download the app is actually just go into the Play Store, type in Widget Locker, and it should be like the first one that pops up. I do believe it's about $2 in the Play Store, but the price is definitely worth it with all the features you get. Uh, so go ahead and support the developers for making this awesome app. I've been using it since 2010 and I haven't looked back because it's just that great. Uh, because you don't even have to root your device to get all these different custom things you can do, uh, like changing the lock screen adding different widgets and app shortcuts and everything like that to it. Uh, so basically guys when you do download it you want to go into your app drawer and then click on widget locker and it will take you right into widget locker itself where you can customize everything the way you want it and it will come up with its own different wallpaper and stock uh, time a widget and everything like that as well as custom slider uh, which is obviously the slider is what opens up your unlocks your phone and so pretty much to get rid of that guys all you have to do is long press on the item that you want to get rid of and drag it in the uh, the trash bin and everything like that and uh, all you have to do to get your custom sliders and put your applications and shortcuts on it is just long press on the screen it'll take you to like I said custom slider you can go to get themes and then this will actually take you to XDA forums well, people post a bunch of their lock screen uh, sliders that they made, and you can actually download them after previewing them. Uh, so as you can see, you can preview the uh, custom slider, and if you like it, uh, just find the one that you want to download, click on it, it'll go into your downloads for your notification bar, and then uh, from there, guys, uh, it'll take you back to this screen, and you can actually test it out before you even use the uh, slider to make sure you're not wasting your time or anything like that putting it on your uh, phone and ending up not liking it and then after you do save them you can access them all in this nice little organized um, organized little pop-up window uh, but basically guys there's not a whole lot to this app well there actually is a whole lot to this app because you can just do so much with it uh, like I said you can just get rid of the, your custom sliders and everything uh, as well guys as you can go into your settings uh, you can go into look and feel and then from here you can select your custom wallpapers you can choose to hide the notification bar like I did and just so much more you can uh, make it so it zooms out when you uh, unlock it or it does a little swivelly swirl type thing uh, when you unlock it just so it's a kind of nice uh, scrolling effect and everything when it unlocks your device so as you can see mine kind of fades out and it's very nice guys uh, but like I said you can do so much with this app you can add applications on it for shortcuts and just just unlimited type of things. Uh, th things you can do without even rooting or things that you can't even do while rooting with their custom uh, lock screens and everything like that. Uh, but pretty much guys that really is it. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys this quick video. A lot of people have been asking how I get my lock screen the way it is on Google Plus and Twitter and everything. So I figured I'd make a quick video on how to do so. Uh, but anyways guys that is it. If you do like these videos give them a thumbs up. Also subscribe to me here on YouTube as well as follow Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BlackBlizzNerd and uh, give me a shout out or and I'll even follow you back and everything like that and answer any questions that you may have. Uh, anyways guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.